is a this is a different perspective on indian history especially that of kerala in kerala there had been an aivar sabha aivar sabha in malayalam panja maha sabha in sanskrit and aim perum kulu in tamil so an aim perum kulu or panja maha sabha or aivar sabha was helping the administration of the welfare state throughout south india at one time now who are these five sabhas the king is at the center then there is the royal priest of the temple who is also a guru of the king then the mahamantri then there is a chief messenger and who is actually in charge of the entire intelligence bureau of the state and finally the kavadi or the treasurer of the state which is located in the respective temples the main temple the main treasurer will be there and in the smaller temples there will be subordinate treasurers who will have to report to the main treasury in this way there had been a chain of administration right from the uh, vindhya satpura region up to cape comorin and this existed for thousands and thousands of years and even up to the period of rajaraja chola we find the same thing existing and later on till the british government took up this was functioning though at a lesser rate because the powers of the temples had diminished and the state had been broken up into small small places but till that time this system was functioning very well now these people were actually selected depending upon three things one is their ability their efficiency in each of the fields the other is the same lineage the royal lineage would be the same it's actually the the first person the the a king who had been ruling for se several years later on when he gives that position to the next person in charge he becomes the head of the institution as the guru so there is a from a from a garhastya to anaprastya and sanyasa state there is a ascending order of these posts uh, and the country had several small small units each unit was called a tara a tara or a tarawad Con consists of actually a joint family and each tara will be having four karanavars karanavar is a title name for the tara chief the four taras will make a higher sabha which is called the nalpad nalpad will have then 16 karanavars all together and four nalpadis for the four groups and four of the nalpadis make a kalagam of the temple it's a higher post the nalpadi so karanavar is the tara the karanavar of the tara then the nalpadis then above the nalpadis is the kalagam of the temple the kalagam of the temple actually functions as the entire administration including the treasury of the state there are four kalagas together making a perum kalaga a bigger kalaga a perum kalaga and this perum kalaga has got a mahakshetra or in tamil a perum trikovil the perum trikovil is only for a perum kalaga so wherever there is a perum trikovil a mahakshetra there is a perum kalaga existing and this 
bigger administrative centers were known as the trikkala kalam or trikkalam tirukkalam the kalam of the tiru or tru tiru is also called anjai in tamil so an anjai kalam or trikkalam means a place where there is a perum kalaga so the trikkala or trikkalam of the vanji nad is naturally known as the tiru vanji kalam tiru vanji kalam tiru vanji kulam all these things have developed from the same root so anjai kalam became vanji kalam because in kerala the trade and commerce overseas as well as within the inland areas through the boats vanji the navas the, the sea trade and river trade had been very much advanced and their sri or aishwarya was because of the vanji they called their the, their anjai as the vanji therefore thereby the anjai kalam became the vanji kalam that is how we became from tiru anjai kalam we became tiru vanji kalam and tiru vanji kulam the most ancient tiruvanjikula of this area is actually not at kodungallur but at a place called paiinkulam in the banks of the bharada pula it is actually a cave temple and it exists in the panyal people think that the panyal is a term derived because people ran away from panyur and <laughs> reached there and all but that is not the case panyal and paiinkulam are actually from the same root because in sangha sahitya we see that in kerala is called the payangelum kudi the old kudi kudi means the area the nadu the payangelum kudi the payang is sri actually and paya paya pai pa all these denote the naga races the nagas you know the, the pai palli pai palli means the uh, serpent bed of the vishnu pai pra pai kel all these terms are same and those days in older literature wherever there is learning of the veda we see that they don't call it as veda in the in the prakrit language they call it as paina we are going to learn paina is said paina is was the term old term for veda because paina actually means the learning that is ananta from the thousand headed ananta sarpa the paimal of the uh, great vishnu so this uh, term has become pa nya l three letters are there in pa nya the pa is for that veda vedic the naga based vedic knowledge the pa nya na and nya can be converted by the pronunciation difference both stands for zero pa for one nya or na for paina or paina both are for zero and then la for nine 108 plus 1 108 alayas plus 1 that is the, the greatest uh, uh, kalam that is the panyal and actually that is the real derivation of the term it is the vedic center from ancient times and it is there we find the pine kulam pine kulam cave temple so paina the teaching of the veda is associated with that place and it is also called this pine kulam cave temple is called tiruvanjikuri that is the most ancient tiruvanjikalam of malabar and from there the second place was in vanneri nadu 
ദർശനം ചെയ്യിക്കളം ടെമ്പിൾ ഇൻ പുന്നയൂർക്കുളം ഏരിയ വടക്കേക്കാട് പുന്നയൂർക്കുളം ഏരിയ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് സെൻറ്റർ ഓർ പ്രോബ്ലി ദ സബ് സെൻറ്റർ ഫ്രം വേർ ദ ട്രഷേഴ്സ് കെയിം ഫ്രം ഹിയർ ടു ദ അതർ പ്ലേസ് മസ്റ്റ് ബി ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ തേർഡ് വൺ വാസ് ഇൻ കൊടുങ്ങല്ലൂർ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ഇൻ കൊടുങ്ങല്ലൂർ ദ മഹോദയ was mahodayapuram was converted only in bc 120 by king mahodaya and only after that the tiruvanjai kalam of kodungallur has come up so the other two the anjai kalam of the vanneri perumbadappu kochi swarupam and this tiruvanjai kalam of the paingulam panyal existed even before bc 120 that is before mahodayapuram was constructed by the kings of the same lineage this part we have to think about and then only we will understand the uh, arrangement of the cave temples in kerala and their significance the learning and astronomical significance of those temples now you know in trikala it is the chief priest or the guru who presides over all the sabhas the chief guru and the 64 tara karanavars the four achans of the four kalagas the 16 the nalpadis and the 64 tandans had to assemble in the trikala tri sabha that is in the final sabha and at that time 12 shiva dhuja nambis Now, these people were called in earlier literature as the the 12 kola varahas 12 kola vara kola is the kola is the name of the rajavamsha no kola tiri kola varaha is the emblem of vishnu and also the emblem of pandiyur and these people these are these people are called were called chalukyas because they carried a shula is chalukya and they pr- protected the shala the sabha the 12 kolavarahas had to stand in the 12 rashi positions around this area where the sabha is being conducted usually it will be on a hill on a guha kshetra so below they will be protecting the area and these are the 12 kolavarahas which became the pandiru kulam the pandiru kulam is this kolavarahas and their sister is the kolavathi the main mother of the entire race is their sister the kolavathi so they are the brothers in this way the arrangement was done to protect the sabha as well as the treasury within the anjai kalam and painkulam has also another significance it is that chakyar matam paingulam chakyar of this area is actually a smaller branch of the koyappa matam chakyas who existed in the vanderi perumbadappu area there is a koyappa matam we call it as koyappa matam but actually it is the term is actually not like that that we will come to later now koyappa matam chakyar became the pain, uh, the branch became the paingulam chakyar due to some reasons which we are not concerned at present we are going to the temples only and you now the importance is that the entire area the nadumpurai nadu of <coughs> consisting of the present entire palgad district the tuchur malappuram and panani area all these areas together were was known as the nadumpurai nadu and the area on the north of bharatapura consisted of the kurum purai nadu so this is the nadum purai nadu the bigger purai nadu purai nadu means hill country malai country malai aalam we are malai aalers those who rule the mala the hill that is malai aalam no so nadum purai nadu means purai means mala purayan means malayan so nadum purai is the bigger hill area that is the bigger emperor and the kurumpurai nadu is the smaller that is the you call the yuvaraja no the second of the 
Kalatdiri race ruled in the Kurumpurai Nadu. So Nadumpurai Nadu and Kurumpurai Nadu was the division of the country like that. So in this area that is the south of Bharatapura, we see the famous Paneri Perimbadapu Kochin Rajasurupam, the Talapalli family, then the entire Moshagavansha lineage, all this comes in this area. And we see there are three important, there are several rock cut temples, but the, there are three important rock cut temples with astronomical significance in this Talapalli area alone. Talapalli area. Now, the three Thalis we see in the Varavur, in the Kulashegaran Alur, and their orientation in the Vastu also is significant in regard to these three cave temples which are astronomically oriented. So, we are going to the details of these three Thali temples of the Kulashegara Empire and the three cave temples exist, which exist in this in the Dumpurayur Thalapalli area. All the three are the one is in the Mugundapuram, the one is in the uh, Mullurkara, and the other is in Painkulam in Panyan. All these belong to the southern bank of the Bharatapura in the same jurisdiction of the same royal family, the Cochin family, Cochin Rajavamsha. That is the old Valluvanad, Valluva Konadiri, the Kolavamsha, Vamsha, Kola Vamsha, or the Moshaka Vamsha. All these are the same, actually only name branches only of the same. So we are going to that first.